हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड एक्स ऑफ जेड फॉर एक्स ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू टू दी पावर ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एन एंड आल्सो वी नीड टू फाइंड दी आर ओ सी हियर मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एन रिप्रेजेंट्स प्लस एन and minus n you need to remember this therefore we can write x of n is equal to 1 by 2 to the power of magnitude of n as 1 by 2 to the power of plus n u of n plus 1 by 2 to the power of minus n u of minus n minus 1 so we will understand why we have written u of n for the first term and u of minus n minus 1 for the second term here to represent a signal we will take x axis towards right hand side of x axis we will take plus n and towards left hand side of x axis we will take minus n plus n is represented from 0 to plus n so u of n we can represent it as 1 from 0 to infinity since we have already represented u of n from 0 to infinity so we need to represent minus n for the remaining value so the remaining value will be from minus 1 to minus infinity so we need to represent minus n from minus infinity to minus 1 so this represents u of minus n Minus one, so this is u of n, and this is u of minus n minus one. So that's why for one by two to the power of plus n, we'll take u of n, and one by two to the power of minus n, we'll take u of minus n minus one. So these things you need to remember before solving the problem. We know we can represent x of z is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n so if we substitute the value of x of n here we can write this as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2 to the power of n u of n plus 1 by 2 to the power of minus n u of minus n minus 1 into z to the power of minus n we can write x of z as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity so this is for u of n so u of n will be 1 for n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 whole to the power of n z to the power of minus n plus for the second term we can write summation from minus infinity to minus 1 to make u of minus n minus 1 as 1 so we can write the second term as 1 by 2 to the power of minus n z to the power of minus n so we can write the above expression as x of z is equal to we will write the first term as it is n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 Whole to the power of n, z to the power of minus n, plus for the second summation term, let us change the sign, and we can write this as n is equal to one to infinity. Since we are changing the sign, we need to change the sign of one by two, whole to the power of minus n, as one by two to the power of n, z to the power of minus n as z to the power of n. now we can write the above expression as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity so if we take power of n as common we can write that as 1 by 2 into z inverse whole to the power of n plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by 2 into z whole to the power of n now let us use the formula summation of n1 n2 a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of n1 minus a to the power of n2 plus 1 divided by 1 minus a this is for magnitude of a 
less than one for the first term they are having summation as n is equal to zero to infinity a to the power of n we can write that as a to the power of zero minus a to the power of infinity plus one divided by one minus a so here a to the power of infinity plus one will be equal to zero if magnitude of a is less than one so we can write the above expression as a to the power of zero as one divided by one minus a so this is for the first term so we are having the second term as summation of n is equal to one to infinity a to the power of n so we can write this as a to the power of one minus a to the power of infinity plus one divided by one minus a so again a to the power of infinity plus one will be equal to zero if a is less than one so we can write this as a divided by one minus a so this is for representing the second term so using these two analysis we can write x of z is equal to for the first term we can write that as one divided by one minus one by two z inverse plus for the second term we can write that as one by two z divided by one minus one by two z so we can write the above expression as one divided by one minus one by two divided by z plus one by two z divided by one minus one by two z now we can write this second term as one by two into z divided by one minus one by two z so we can write this term as z divided by two minus z and the first term we can write it as z divided by z minus one by two plus let us write the second term which is z divided by two minus z so we can write the above expression as if we take lcm as z minus one by two into two minus z so we can write numerator as 2z minus z square plus z square minus 1 by 2 z so here minus z square plus z square we can cancel out so we can write x of z is equal to 3 by 2z divided by z minus 1 by 2 into 2 minus z this is the z transform of given x of n now let us find roc so to find roc for the first term we have the condition magnitude of 1 by 2 z inverse is less than 1 so we can write this as magnitude of z should be greater than 1 by 2 so this is the first condition for roc for the second term we are having the condition 1 by 2 z should be less than 1 so we can write this as magnitude of z should be less than 2 so from these two condition we can understand that roc should be greater than 1 by 2 and it should be less than 2 let us consider the z plane here in x axis real term in y axis let us take imaginary term so let us mark two point on x axis 1 by 2 and 2 so for this let us draw the circle with radius 1 by 2 and let us draw one more circle with radius 2 now roc is greater than 
1 by 2 and it is less than 2. So, ROC will be between these two circle. So, this is the ROC of given problem. This is about the problem on Z-transform. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.